everybody, Todd Dow here, and today what we're going to do is actually have a mindset. I want to instill some mindsets into you, uh, maybe help you understand what it is that you should be doing here online to in order to make as much money online as possible. Okay, um, it, you know, most of it is uh, a mindset thing because some people don't understand that you have to treat this exactly like a business. If you don't treat your business like a business, it will not pay you like your business. If you treat it like something on the side, then it's going to pay you like something on the side. Some of you are, are listening but not really listening. Um, I have a lot of people that are in my network, some people that are um, you know, doing the same things that I'm doing, but they're saying that they don't see the same results. Folks, I've been doing this for five years. I never let up. I kept doing it month after month after month. Even when I was working at my day job, I was actually a forklift driver. I, I, I would have to work eight to ten hours a day. And then when I get off of work, what would I do? I get home and I pound the pavement in internet marketing for two hours every single day day in day out two years I did that but before that I, I fumbled okay uh, three years I did the same exact thing over and over and over and it wasn't paying out finally when I found I, I, I figured out that I had to do what the gurus are doing this is the, this is one thing that you gotta pull out of this okay you must do what the gurus are doing in order to get the type of money that the gurus are getting Okay? Don't follow exactly what they're teaching because some gurus will lead you to, in the wrong direction. Um, some gurus make money by selling their own products. That's just the way that it works. Sometimes there is uh, different fads or different um, things that come out online that, that um, are very hot at the time, like Instagram or Pinterest or when Twitter came out at the same at the time. They would use those avenues, those those social platforms, things that are hot right now to be able to make money. They'll, you know, buy it, create a product around it, and then they'll make some money off of it. So what I'm trying to tell you is that, okay, you see the concept here. They are making money off of fads. They are making money off of things that are hot right now. So if you take that concept and you understand that, hey, that's where the traffic is. Oh, the new a new mobile phone came out. A new iPhone came out. Well. Guess what? If you can make a product around that or if you can uh, somehow get into that traffic stream, then you're going to be able to get some of that traffic to, to push to, towards whatever you're uh, going to promote, folks. It, it's not rocket science, okay? It's not rocket science. Everybody does it. You just have to understand uh, from the bird's eye view as a guru, this is what they're doing. They, they, they play on these, these, these type of things to, to be able to make some money online, and you have to do exactly the same thing. If there's a new network marketing company, if there's a new product uh, related to internet marketing, then go ahead and tackle that product. Get into that traffic. Get the traffic from that. You know people are going to go look for reviews. Why not get in front of them, present your product, and then get some of that traffic. Uh, some people uh, you know, in my network, uh, you know, I don't want to point you out. But I want to uh, instill it upon you, okay? I've been doing this for five years, okay? And when you consistently do something month after month, day after day, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get momentum. So the more momentum, the, the more that you consistently do something, the more momentum you're going to get. The, the, if you slow down, guess what? Your momentum is going to go down, okay? It's the same way. Um, some people don't uh, seem to own, don't understand this or whatever. Um, the, the same logic applies whenever you're going out online and work trying to work for a living online. Uh, let's say, for example, you you know you just got this job at Foot Locker, and, and at Foot Locker, um, you have to you know whatever you're selling shoes, whatever the case may be. You made a hundred dollars today, you make two hundred dollars tomorrow, you made three hundred dollars for the week, something like that, right? You're not going to get paid right after you get done working your first day at that job. You're not going to get paid the first week after you get done working at that job. Sometimes they have a pay period, right? They have a pay period where you have there's a grace period, right? You have to skip a week and then get paid on the next pay period. And that happens. That's the same exact way um, the inter the internet is. Okay, and if you're consistently doing something every single day, you're going to get paid eventually. You just have to stick in the game. Keep your head in the game and keep doing it month after month after month. Um, I mean, I've had breakthroughs where I've done something for a month straight and I didn't have no signups, no sales, no nothing. And then all of a sudden, boom, one sale, boom, two sales the next day, boom, one sale, 
boom, zero sales the next day, boom, five sales the next day. It works exactly the same way, okay? The momentum builds up. You cannot stop because this is what's going to happen. You're going to go here and you're going to work. Um, you're gonna, probably going to work for three weeks and then all of a sudden, boom, you get a sale, right? Um, after you get that sale, okay, well, that, that's good. So whatever I'm doing is, is, uh, is actually working. So um, you, you get really comfortable in your skin after some time. You get a, you know, a few sales under your belt and you get comfortable in your skin. So at that point, you probably slow down or you stop doing what you used to do to bring in the one, two, three, four, five sales in a day. And now guess what's going to happen? You're down, you're back down to zero or you're, you're back down to square one, root one. Folks, if we're working a day job and we stop working, what's going to happen to our income? We're not going to get any income. The income's going to stop, right? The income, you have to work in order to get the, the benefits or the, the reward from you working every single day taking consistent action inside of your business okay as a person that's been struggling for a very long time see i used to like i said before i used to work in the warehouse and in this warehouse i would have to load and unload trucks every single day all day long all right one thing that i would have to say to you is that no matter how hard i would work at this at this warehouse I was not going to be able to make as much as the CEO of the company or the assistant manager or the manager of the company. Okay, there was no upward no mobility. There's no way um, they, they weren't even giving us raises at the time. Okay, so what I ha what do you have control of your your situation? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to stick at the same day job, getting the same pay every single day, uh, week in week week out uh, for the rest of your life, or are you going to get in? In, in uh, into something and do something about it okay do something about it and, and that is exactly what I did even though it was only two hours a day I minimized my time uh, for the two hours per day I knew that in those two hours that two hour block I needed to work as hard as I could uh, in order to to reap the benefit of maybe an eight hour shift uh, of working okay some people when they get online okay I'm gonna tell you this procrastination is the assassination of your dreams Procrastination is the assassination of your dreams. If you are working online and you get distracted, you're on Facebook looking at all these pictures, think about this one thing. Whatever you do online, is it going to help you make some money online or is it gonna help is it gonna help you to bring some people into whatever organization that you're in right now? Ask yourself that. Okay? And, and that that'll eliminate what you're gonna do right now. I highly recommend that you pick up this book. It's called The 4-Hour Workweek. It really helped me to get, condense my time frames. So every time, um, there, you, there used to be days where I work six hours in a day, okay? Doing the same amount of work that I can do in two hours, okay? When I actually got to the point where I quit my day job, I actually was doing all this extra stuff on top of there, which lasted like six hours in a day which was like a day job. I mean, I quit my day job in order to, to free up my time. None of us that work full-time online sit here and, and and want to work six to eight hours in a day after we just quit our day job. That's the, you know, that was the whole point is to free up our time. So after reading this book, it helped me to realize that minimize your time, okay? Uh, if you have a certain task, go ahead and write it down. That's why I have this whiteboard up here. I write down everything that I'm going to do for the day or for the week, and then I just do it in a two-hour period, and that's it. I turn off the computer, I go uh, and enjoy my the rest of my day, okay? And that is exactly what you need to do. You need to find out step-by-step, step, okay, today I'm going to make two videos. Okay, today I'm going to do one blog post. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to order a solo ad or, or I'm going to you know, go get into some paid traffic um, you know, sources online. There's one thing that I want you guys to understand. I did. Everybody starts online with zero people onto their list, zero traffic, zero skills. Okay, I st I was there too. This is the way that I built my way up to getting into the paid marketing. Okay, uh, at my day job, I was only making about two to three thousand dollars every single month, and my bills. I I'm going to tell you right now, I was left with like six hundred dollars to play with at the end of the month. So I really had to schedule out exactly how much money I'm going to invest into my business right off the bat. And looking at what my paycheck and what was left over, and and uh, food and and gro you know groceries and uh, gas money and all this kind of stuff, I really didn't have the money to get into the pay marketing. But you know what I did? I started getting into 
free traffic methods. You can do some video uh, video marketing. You can do some blogging. And, I mean, uh, to get some traffic in. That is exactly what I did. I took that avenue. I did a whole bunch of videos. I did a whole bunch of blogging. I did that every single day. Every day I would get out there and do a blog post or a video so I can get some traffic coming into my uh, my my different offers that I was actually doing. This is the thing that separates me from everybody else is that with the money that I had made, okay, using the video marketing and, and the, and the uh, uh, blogging techniques, I took that money. I took 80%. Sometimes I even took as much as 100% of that money because I understood if I can get into this traffic stream, it's going to be a whole lot easier on me and my life. Uh, and I don't have to sit here and make 50 videos every single day in order to keep on, uh, you know, keep the momentum up. Okay. So I took 80 to 100% sometimes of the money that I made using the free traffic methods and I put it into paid marketing. What this actually did was it tripled the amount of income that I was bringing in every single month. And eventually I stopped doing the video marketing and I stopped doing the blogging uh, every single day. I now, uh, I guess I do blog almost daily, but the simple thing, the, the thing that I like about blogging is I like sharing um, what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I love giving free content. I love uh, inspiring other people to keep on going um, it, it, you know to get to make some money online okay so that's why I do still do the blogging and I do the video marketing it's just something that I enjoy it only takes me 15 to 30 minutes every single day to do it so why not right so as you are journeying here online all right um, the things that are going to change is the traffic sources there's always going to be some new thing to be able to drive traffic to your affiliate offers and so on and so forth but the only thing that will not change is your mindset you have to be very strong uh, when you when you when you're here online you have to develop, develop a thick a thick skin okay thick skin out here when you're out here, when you're online you're gonna fail a whole lot of times okay there's not gonna be um, you know uh, rainbows and gun drops all day long Okay? There's going to be days where you fail. There's going to be days where you don't get people to your website. There's going to be people that get into your business and then drop out of your business. The only way that you're going to be able to keep on going is if you consistently do something every single day without fail. Even if you're not getting any people to your website, even if you're not getting people into your business, even if you're not getting leads every single day, you have to consistently do it because you never know what's going to happen. Somebody may pick up your video and, and watch it and then all of a sudden they do a tweet on it uh, about it. And then all of a sudden you get an avalanche of leads. Okay, You never know what's going to happen here online. Just consistently do everything, uh, do something every single day. Those of you that are in a network marketing or MLM business or you know that kind of structured business, the thing that you want to do to help your organization grow is you need to lead by example. Okay, Lead by example. Nobody wants to follow somebody that is not doing something daily or somebody that's not doing anything at all, right? They're just teaching you, okay, you do this, you do that, but then when you turn around and look at them, they're not doing the things that they're teaching, right? So why would I do that if this guy is doing, you know, not doing it and he's making X, Y, Z money? So you have to consistently share that info with them daily. If you're doing something daily, um, share the info information with them. Okay, today I made a blog post. Uh, here's the blog post. Go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, okay, today I emailed my list. This is the email that I sent out to my list. Go ahead and use that and send it to your list. Um, okay, this is the video that I did. This is the topic that I was uh, covering. These are the keywords that I was targeting every single day. You have to share that information with your group, uh, with your team, if you're growing a network marketing or affiliate marketing business. All right, guys, um, everything that I covered today is not rocket science. Everybody you guys should already know this information all right the main thing that you should really focus on is daily consistent action figure out a way to massively scale up your daily actions if you have enough money um, but you don't have enough time hire somebody to do the work that you can't do okay and then obviously do some work every now and then if you can't okay and that's gonna help you to have that consistent daily action pay somebody to do the work that you cannot do if you have the money okay so if you have if you you have the money but you don't have the time 
pay somebody. If you have the time but you don't have the money, do some consistent work every single day. Make a video. I don't care how stupid the video may look, you can make some money from it. You can get leads from it. Period. Okay. The main thing I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna step off, you know, with this video here in a second. But the main thing that you should be doing, okay, and this is this is the only tip that I'm gonna give you today, all right, for uh, Mindset Friday, is that you need to start building lists. If you don't, if you haven't done it already, if you're seeing this video and you haven't done it already, I guarantee you that building a list is the the most the, the smartest thing that you can do online, and it's the easiest way to make money online, and it's the it's the it's the like the less risk take that you can ever imagine okay because if you have a list you can make money off, off your list over time uh, uh, providing that you you know you give value and that you are promoting different offers to your your um, your list okay so build start building a list okay I don't care what program that you're buying I don't care what software program is out there start building a list you can do it with YouTube marketing you could get a blog set up uh, if you're in, in Power Network, already, you already have a blog. If you don't have a blog, obviously um, get into Empower Network um, in order to get get your blog and you know to start blogging and getting some traffic coming in. So use some blogging, uh, video marketing, um, you know, and, and really start driving traffic to your link using those free marketing modalities. Okay. So that, that's the only thing that I have to give to you, okay? Uh, once your list gets up to a certain point, I'm telling you, it's like cakewalk. Anything that you get into, you're gonna be able to explode. And the more that you invest into your business, the more that it's going to pay you over time. If you have high ticket offers, uh, items, uh, products that you can promote and get uh, a, good, a decent sized commissions on, keep focusing on building up on that and, and, and really marketing those products. Because if you have a $997 product, um, it only takes, what, one sale to make $1,000 a month. Uh, four sales to make $4,000 a month, okay? So you guys do the math. Take this into consideration. I will see you guys the next week, Friday, uh, where we're going to have Mindset Friday um, next week, Friday. So you guys take care. God bless. And I will see you guys at the top.